Welcome to your worst nightmare. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Hello Week here on Retro We Ride Channel. Uh, this week we'll be playing a week of scary retro ghouls, ghosts and witches games. There will be a new video every day for the next four days. These will be Halloween and horror themed from across all genres and systems. Culminating on Friday with a live stream where I'll play, be playing games that have been requested by my friends and anybody on the live stream who wants to request a game as long as it's um, related to Halloween or it's horror. Um, so without further ado, let's look at tonight's game. Tonight's game is an 8-bit classic called Cauldron that was released on the Commodore 64, Spectrum and Amstrad in 1985. It also came out on the Enterprise 128, so it's a very rare game on that system because obviously they didn't bring many games out for that system at all. It was made by Palace Software um, and it's a single-player arcade adventure platform type game. But be weird, be warned. It is a very, very difficult game, as you will see when I play it in, in the gameplay that we'll show now. So this is the gameplay for Cauldron on the Commodore 64. Obviously, as mentioned previously, it came out on the Amstrad and the Spectrum as well, and also on the Enterprise 128, which is unusual because not many games came out for that. So. Start the game. So the, the, the object of the game, I think, is to find, is to keep your magic up and find keys to get into the other levels. Now, oh, the problem is, once you fl start to fly, it's a really hard game, this is, as I found. So you've got your magic to shoot the bats, but obviously you can see your magic bar going down. The, where you saw them sparkly things on the floor, that's where you re... If you go to those, it will re-boost your magic back to 100%. The problem is, so there's a green door there that we need a green key for. Oh, we died, so we're out of magic. But you, if you hit the trees, you die, unless you go down where there's a gap. So if we fly along here, we're trying to find where the key is. Because the other thing is as well, every time it's a different... So we're going to need some more magic here because... It just, so even as you fly, you use your magic, so... The only way you can get back down again is to go down where there's a gap. Oh, and I've hit the tree there, so there's obviously a bit of a tree there, so... What if I can go up over here? Is anywhere over here? I'm looking for the key. Oh, there's a blue key and a green key, so it's not that way. Sometimes they're hidden in the trees. Oh, is that one there? I've just gone past one. No. Uh, is it? that's a key or not to be honest let's have a look so if we land there we can then go back into walking mode and we need to go get some magic before we die so those flashy things restore your magic obviously you're getting hit by those there i think the key is there can you just see it in the tree there it is. And that's how difficult it is sometimes to see it. Because <laughs> it blends in with the background. So now we've got the key. Obviously we'll get to the magic thing. Just for the bats get us. Oh, it's going to catch me before I get there. So now we can go into this. And go down into the underground levels. So this is where we have to be so precise as well at getting across because otherwise you die that's close so obviously now I can't see look let's see yes. <laughs> it's so brutal this game I think we're after that pumpkin but again you can't see what the next level is so it's best just to jump and take a chance. But there, like that, oh, we're going to die there. It's so hard. The graphics are good for the 64. I, like, I quite like the sprites. Oh, come on. 
The question is, do we go for the second one? Do we make a, a long jump from the second and can we hit the roof? Oh, you can just drop. Oh, and I've just fell into the thing. But it's so difficult. Oh, and it's like one of those games, well, if you don't jump at the exact moment, I call it like the uh, Hyper Sports uh, flipping, where you have to do the flip. If you don't get it exactly right on the board, you, you foul. So we've died. So we'll have another go at that. The quest has failed. Do not dismay, though. Thou may succeed another day. Reach the pumpkin. <laughs> that was abysmal, but it is a hard, hard game. It's well known for being really hard. As always, the music and sound effects on the C64 are really good. The Sid Chip doing its um, thing. <laughs> See if we can find it quicker this time. Oh, I died straight away. I don't know what happened then. So we're looking for the key again. Let's see if we can see it. So last time it was in the trees, and this could be anywhere this time. So hopefully it's easier to spot. There it is, so it's there. I like how it... Oh. I like how it changes as well. The one annoying thing is you have to point in the direction you want to shoot. It's a bit like... Um, we're going to die. Oh. It's so difficult. <laughs> It's a bit like it's uh, Smash TV where you have to aim where you want to fire. But it's it's got inertia as well, so like, let's go down there. Oh, I can't get it, so I can't get that way, so I've got to actually fly around. The program has definitely made it a challenging game, that's all I can say. So like, where do I land then if I can't get it there? Can I? Can I? Land? Where can I get it then? If it's there, do I have to fly above it? Surely not. Maybe I do have to fly above it. Oh, I do. Flip it out. So you can't even land to get it. Oh, this is going to be a very short game. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have jumped down, should I? Oh, it's alright. I suppose it's like anything, it's... Once you've played it a few times, you remember where to jump and where not to jump. So if I remember rightly, you can drop onto that one. Jump over there. Again, you don't know if you're going to land anywhere. Oh, that was close. So you tried to catch that pumpkin, I think. Oh, come on. Definitely shades of hunchback there. Of getting, it, getting the, to jump right onto the... Oh, no. And we've died. Yes. So that's uh, Cauldron on the Commodore 64. It is a good game, um, quite enjoyable, but very frustrating at the same time as well. It's so hard, that, um, and, and I know it's well known for being really hard as well. So, but thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying the, the Halloween videos. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, uh, and follow me on Facebook on Retro Rewind.
and uh, there'll be another Halloween video tomorrow. And don't forget, on Friday this week, we're doing a live Halloween special that's being streamed. So if you want any game requests or want to join, please put it in the comments below. Thank you very much.